the guidelines, average risk women. So all comers, we would recommend annual screening mammography starting at age 40, so annually. I know in the past people have said every two years, some people have said 50, but the guidelines and the evidence points to starting at age 40 and annually. All right, women may miss a year anyway, but you want to send them every year. For high-risk women, that's greater than 20% lifetime risk. We actually recommend annual screening, breast MRI, and mammography. We may start them earlier. We have a general rule of thumb. They should start 10 years before the earliest relative. So if the mother had breast cancer at 45, the woman should start screening at age 35. Now, breast MRI is adjunctive to screening, so it doesn't replace screening. So just because the woman doesn't want to have compression or she thinks her mammogram hurts, the mammogram is really the, the bread and butter tool, and the MRI is for high-risk women. And even if you're high-risk, don't think the MR is all you need. You need to have the mammogram as well. The mammogram is very good at detecting calcifications. The MR is very good at detecting enhancement. The two are complementary. They work hand in hand, so they can't be broken apart. And what you do at UCSF is we alternate them every six months. So the thought process is that you're seeing the patient more often. So every six months, the patient comes in and gets something. If they live very far away, we have some patients that travel from you know, three or four hours away, then of course we'll just do it annually. But if she's coming in to see her surgeon anyway, then we can get the imaging done at that time.